I got zero problem with it. LeBron doesn't have to be on everybody's list. We got to stop. We have to stop thinking someone is sliding or being disrespectful to LeBron if they leave them off their list. Mm. That's his list. Uh, I still believe LeBron is the GOAT. I believe LeBron is the greatest basketball player ever. But I don't have a problem with Steph Curry leaving him off. And if you listen to Steph explain it, he lets you know. He's like, look, I got great spacing, shoot the floor. I, I mean, shoot, uh, great spacing on the floor. I got dirt I have myself. I got a guy in Magic that can make all the passes, the greatest point guard of all time. I got Michael, the hit the mid-range, can also drive the ball. And I got Shaq. Shaq going to hold it down in the paint. Should Kareem or Will or Bill Russell family feel slighted? Hell, Steph, uh, uh, Clay Thompson, bro, we won four championships together. You ain't got me on your starting five? No. Draymond, you ain't got Dray? No. It's okay. It's not a... I, I don't think they think they were going to be on the starting five. Skip, look, it seems to me that he's putting a list together. It's like, I'm putting my list together. I'm actually trying to win a game as opposed to just throwing guys together and say, well, this, this guy was the best guy at this position, this was the best guy at that position, and the team doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. So I got no problem whatsoever with Steph Curry leaving LeBron James off of his list. If you want to start in five to put LeBron, start your five and put LeBron on your list. But I don't have a problem. Would he be on my list? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I would have, uh, I would probably have my starting five would be Magic, Jordan, Tim Duncan, Kareem and LeBron. That would be my starting five. Mm. But that's my starting five. Now, how good is that? Tim Duncan's on the block. You know, Kareem's going to be on the block. Ain't none of those guys. Tim can shoot the mid-range, but that, you know, he preferred to play with his back to the basket. Kareem definitely played with his back to the basket. So it's probably not the best the best fit. Mm. But that's what be my starting five. And I got no problem with Steph Curry's starting five. But so, I ain't trying to win no game. I just like best player. Like so you would have Kareem over Shaq in your starting five. I would. Five. I would. Yeah. And you would have LeBron over Kobe in your starting five. Yeah, I put LeBron at the small forward. I right. put Tim at the power forward, and I put Jordan at the two. I put Magic at the point. Okay. And you obviously would not have Steph Curry in your all-time no, starting five. No, because I'm not putting him in over Jordan. I'm not putting in him over Kareem. Okay. But I still think. But if, if somebody put if somebody put Steph in the start as starting five, I mean, I ain't got no problem with it. Mm, I would. <laughs> but I had a problem with this whole premise because I'm reading this story and it says that Steph was on the list to begin with. So the former back-to-back -back MVP had to just pick four okay. teammates he wanted to run with. And I'm like, he was? <laughs> what, 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 how, how did he get on the list? <laughs> or is it just assumed he would put himself in the starting five? I, 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 he's in there. I, I don't you, know. You know, sometimes you say, okay, now I'm your starting five. And the first thing they ask, can I include myself? Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, you can. If you want to say, no, nah, I'm going to leave myself out. And that's what a lot of times they leave themselves out. But I like the fact that Steph Curry put himself in there. Hell, I wish more people would put themselves on the starting five. You know, you ask Brady, Brady gonna probably say, uh, it's probably gonna be Joe or somebody. No, put yourself on the list. You deserve to be on the list. Mm, okay, good. Now, why did he leave LeBron off? Remember back in the day when they first began to compete against each other in finals back in 2015? 15, yeah. There was much written about, much speculated about, the this sort of jealousy or resentment that began to emanate between. It was coming from Steph to LeBron because right. LeBron was already obviously st established, established. Mm -hmm. but that that there was some negativity emanating from Steph's side toward LeBron. Okay, and I'm going to have to assume that that you can read into this that there's still some jealousy factor or resentment factor between those two, or he just would have usually. You, what do you always tell me? You put your contemporaries in because you believe that we are better than they were because we evolved. We're, we're just, our, our whole game has evolved to a higher level than their game was. I don't think they have the type of relationship, the adversarial relationship, because obviously they're, they're competing against each other. But I think they have a much better respect, a profound respect for one another because the last two seasons, LeBron has been the, the all-star captain yep. and he selected Steph Curry. Okay. So I, I think... Was Steph, he just trying to play up to him? Well, I think the thing is, LeBron was here. Steph is coming. Let's get back. Get back. I want you to get up on... Get back! Mm. I'm not trying to let you get up on the mantle with me just yet. So I'm fighting you off. I'm trying to keep you at arm's mm -hmm. at, at, at arm's distance. Yep. But Steph was able to climb up anyway. Well, hell, if you're up here anyway, I might as well just, okay, you're here now. Okay. What was <laughs> Steph's line about the possibility of, of acquiring LeBron at Golden State? Yeah. I'm good. Right. Right? Right. Okay, well, that told me I, I, I don't want to do that. Yet it was Steph 
who led the charge all the way across the right. country to recruit Kevin Durant right. to come save them from LeBron right. because they just knew what was coming. They were right. going to have to deal with LeBron at least one, if not two more years, and right. it was two more years, right. right? Yeah. Okay, so he did that, which to me disqualified him as an all-time top ten player. No, you, you got to put him in there because he after what he did this year, he won the finals MVP. He has two regular season MVP. He has four titles. Yes, Skip, I think now you have to put him in the top ten, and you had to bump some of the historically great players out. And he's still going. It's not to say that he's done. It's not like he's done. Look, excuse me, I think when you think two guards, Mike is universal. I think when you think point, point guards, Magic. I think Magic is universal. Absolutely. Skip I, don't look, Skip, I don't look at Steph as a point. I don't. Because they're running. Well, well, he, he tried to sell it as we'd have hybrid, hybrid guards, and I'm saying, you ain't that guy. Yeah, that guy's going to have the ball in his hands. Because Draymond normally runs, the, initiates the offense Agreed. around the offense. Uh, agree. So I, when I look not, at. Not that Steph doesn't have a yeah, great handle, handle. and he yeah, does. Tremendous handle. He does. But when I look at these guys in today's game, yeah. James Harden, the Dame Lillard, mm -hmm. Skip, those guys are two guards masquerading as points. Correct. And same thing with Steph. So I don't, I don't, have, a, I don't have a problem with LeBron being left off his list. But if I had a list, oh, go, going on it. So if I had a list, this is who my list would be. Okay. It would start with the greatest player ever, the greatest of all time, okay, and you it ain't Joy. even close. So, so that guy is at the top. Okay. Magic is my point guard, right. and it's not even close. Because okay. Jordan is as universal yeah. as, as Magic is, to your point. Right. Then Shaq is 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 just the most <laughs> destructive force I've ever yeah. witnessed. I'm, for not, about... I'm not I'm not mad at you for putting okay. Shaq. Okay, it's like I saw for three years, I saw unstoppable, I saw unguardable, I saw unrefereable. Right. I've just never seen anything like it because right. he he was the equivalent of a Lawrence Taylor football player <laughs> playing basketball with with extreme basketball skill. He was extreme. Agile. He was nimble. You're never gonna nimble. see a man that size nimble. move like that. Okay, so I always say. Just to my eye test, I'm going to give Shaq a slight edge over a Kareem who was all time. Well, all he is is the greatest scorer ever <laughs> until LeBron eclipses right. it. But, but again, the sky hook was virtually unstoppable. Yes. He it, it's either he's going to make it or miss it because you're not going to block it. Correct. Okay. All right. But but again, just on the the terror factor, I'm going with Shaq okay. slightly over Kareem, and you got Kareem in there. And I just I if if I got Shaq going head to head with Kareem, I believe Shaq wins that battle okay. on a nightly basis. Okay then this is interesting to me because you put the great Tim Duncan, the greatest power forward ever, you, you put him in, and I want to put him in just because I'm a longtime Spurs fan, and he belongs in here, but if I'm actually trying to do a starting five right. that will work together, right. run together, I, I don't know if he and Shaq are the best fit together because they do too much of the same, same thing. thing. They, Both they, on the block. They need to camp, and and I don't need two campers, right? <laughs> right. I, I'm not sure about that, okay. but, but Duncan is great as, at, at what he did, and he's in my, or I have him in my top five. One, two, three, four. I've got him fifth all time in my all time okay. top ten. Okay. But I got Kobe as my other okay, shooting guard, okay. my other wing. So I got Jordan and Kobe on the wings. Okay. And if I don't, if if I want to do fit, I'm going with your favorite player when you were a kid. Larry I, Joe. I'm going Larry Joe Bird <laughs> in my starting okay. lineup just because I've got Jordan and, and Kobe on the wings. I got Shaq m commanding the paint. Magic, obviously, is the, the point. point guard. But but if I got Bird as my swing man, my, my sort of power forward right. at 6'9", and just you want to talk about a great passer right. and scorer right. and just all around know how to play right. basketball player, mm -hmm. clutch. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think I would stick him. If I wanted to, to have an invincible starting five, that's my starting right. five, and Tim Duncan would have to be my sixth man. I, I, they just showed I was watching the clip of Larry Bird. Yep. He played Portland and he scored 47 points with his left hand. And they said, Why you, he said, I was saving the right for the Lakers. <laughs> so, Skip, I, I mean, look, I agree with you. I think when you say, Okay, who's your, who's your all time great, who's your best point guard? Magic's gonna check. Who's your best two guard? Jordan's gonna check. Who's the best power forward, Skip? I believe Tim Duncan is going to check, considering the five titles, the MVPs, the finals MVP. Well, I believe he, he checks that. came real close to six. Correct. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I believe LeBron James is the greatest small forward. You think it's Larry Bird. I'm sure uh, Kevin Durant is going to get some of that. Now, here's the thing, though, Skip. When it's all said and done, will Tim Duncan still be universal, or will Giannis swipe some of that? Maybe some down the road. But where it's yeah. all over the place, Skip, yeah. is the center. 
because some people got Wilt, some people got Shaq, some people got Mr. Russell, some people got Kareem. That is the one position. I, I would go with Mr. Russell, except he's only 6'9". Right. He was undersized for his time, but he dominated the seven foot one inch Big Dipper Wilt Chamberlain. Did he win more or was he better? Well, it's hand in hand. <laughs> Cause yeah. I mean, I don't know, Skip. But go, it's got to be universal. Pretty small <laughs> forward ever live. How can you not be? You about to be top five in assists, number one in scoring, mm. with four MVPs, four Finals MVPs. Well, I, Steph got one thing right on his list. No bronze. And you, I see, I knew you was gonna do. You're a hater. You just a flat out hater. Next. And guess what? That playoff scoring record, yep. it ain't going nowhere. No. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he just played more games. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. And he played them well, too, didn't he? Huh. I want to know if he's even going to play tonight. We're going to play tonight. You're going to put that thing on, on, on Philly. Okay. We're going to crack the Liberty Bell. Or that other, is a great question. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.